And as if to prove my case regarding police not being trained or having the intelligence to use tasers or incapacitant sprays properly, this latest report falls directly on my lap. And I cannot believe just how stupid this plot is. 31-year-old Metropolitan Police Constable Paul Wenham forced entry to a flat on the 12th floor of a building in Southwark in August last year in order to arrest a man on suspicion of robbery. Upon PC Wenham entering the flat, the suspect attempted to escape by climbing through a window and making his way down the drain pipe, which is an incredibly dumb thing to do, but had he fallen, it would have been entirely his own fault. However, while the suspect was already on the drain pipe, some 11 stories up, PC Wenham decided in his infinite wisdom to spray the man with incapacitant spray. And you certainly don't want to be incapacitated 11 stories high, clinging on to a drain pipe. The suspect managed to make it down to the seventh floor where he stopped on a balcony, but PC Wenham managed to catch up to him. And while the suspect again climbed over the balcony to the drain pipe, PC Wenham grabbed his colleague's parva spray because his was now empty and sprayed the man again. On Wednesday this week, Wenham of the Met Central South Basic Command Unit was found guilty of two counts of common assault as he appeared at Westminster Magistrates Court following an IOPC investigation. Following Wenham being found guilty, IOPC Director Steve Noonan said that Wenham's actions could have caused the man to fall to his death. No shit. He said, at the time he was sprayed, the man was not posing an immediate risk to the officers or anyone else. The National Guidance on Parva Spray lists some of the most common reactions on being exposed to it, including the individual moving their hands to their face, their legs becoming weak and temporary blindness. It is clear that in spraying the man twice at Constable at considerable heights, PC Wenham exposed him to the genuine risk he may have lost his grip on the pipe and fallen, which would have likely had fatal consequences. Detective Chief Superintendent Seb Adji Oda, local policing commander in Southwark and Lambeth, said, Officers know that their actions will be held to account, and where any use of force is display, must always consider whether it was necessary and proportionate to the circumstances. Yeah, providing it's not caught on camera. He added, it is clear in this case that not only was PC Wenham's response completely disproportionate to the situation he faced, but also by doing what he did, he put a member of the public at risk of harm. PC Wenham has let down not only himself, but many hard-working police constables who strive to improve trust and confidence with our communities. I am pleased that this matter was put before a jury to make a decision following a careful consideration of all of the facts. Now, Although PC Wenham has been found guilty, his sentencing has been adjourned until the 26th of July, when of course I will bring you the update. But how stupid can you get? Hello, mate. Please, is anyone in here? Stay there! Stay there! Come back! Stay well, don't get me wrong. If you've committed an offence, you need to be held accountable for that. Jumping from a window and shimmying down a drain pipe is your own choice, and you put your own life in your hands. But as far as I'm concerned, what this constable has done is akin to a firearms officer shooting a man as he climbs down the outside of the building, some 11 storeys high. In fact, I think an assault charge is far too lenient for these particular actions. Of course, PC Wenham will now also have to face a misconduct hearing, which I will also look out for and bring you the information when it's available.